For whatever reason, finding any free music that won't get your stream copyright strikes seems to be a struggle for a lot of streamers. Now I get this question on almost every live stream and I thought it was odd until I did a Google search and it turned up literally none of the services that I know about and use. Apparently, these sites are a well-hidden secret. Back in the day, you could use anything, especially on Twitch, and it wouldn't matter. But those days are long gone. Now you're going to get strikes immediately if you don't use the right music on your stream or video. I've been in the game long enough to see the crossover, and I had to find alternative sources for music. I have four totally free sources to talk about today, and I'll tell you how each one works and the pros and the cons of each. So if you want to know which one is best for you, stick around. We have a lot to get to, so you know what? Let's get to it! Nothing makes a movie or a video better than awesome music, that's for sure. None of these music sites are a secret, but they sure aren't easy to find. I searched for about every term I could think of, and none of them came up even once. So I am excited to share these with you guys. Let's cover the four services first and how they work, and then I'll get into the pros and cons of each one and which ones I like best. There are links to the services I talk about in the description, so you can check them out for yourself as well. All right, so I'm gonna talk about these in no particular order. It just happens to be the order that I open them in. So the first one I wanna talk about is Stream Beats by Harris Heller. You may know him as Alpha Gaming and he created a free music site. There used to be a website that you could visit that no longer exists, so you're gonna get there through here, and this will open the Spotify page, and you can open the link to your Spotify right there if you want. And basically, you could scroll down here and you see they've got all kinds of releases. There is tons and tons and tons of music here. If you wanna see what it looks like in Spotify, here you go. If we scroll down, it basically gives you the same thing as we had over there. Now, the one real downside to stream beats is the fact that there really isn't any way to search for genre or anything. You just kind of have to listen to the stuff, add it to your playlist uh, if it appeals to you, and then you can use Spotify to play it. But, I mean, my biggest problem really here is that there's no way to search for any sort of different types of music or anything like that. Now, I think the music here is very high quality. It's a lot of fun. It's well done. And I like Harris Heller, so it's a nice thing to go ahead and support the kind of things that he does. However, it is probably, in my opinion, the worst one from the perspective of being able to actually search through different genres or anything like that. The one nice thing is for Twitch or YouTube, any of this music can be used without any fear of any sort of copyright strikes or anything like that. I've never heard of anyone having any problems using any of this music for their videos or live streams. That is the Stream Beats by Harris Heller. The next one here is Stream Tunes, and you could put your email address in here to subscribe to their newsletter, and they'll tell you when they put new stuff out but they have 60 plus albums, 50 hours of music, genres, and all that sort of stuff. If you go into their FAQ, it will tell you how to do this so that you're not going to get any copyright strikes or anything like that. Now, when this first started out, I did hear that sometimes people would get claims on it and they would fix that problem pretty quickly, but I haven't heard anything about that happening for a very long time, so it's definitely not something I'm super concerned about. If we go back to the home, you could go down here and get a little more information about what these guys stand for and all that good stuff. You want to add your YouTube profile to their whitelist so that you can go ahead and use the music without having to worry about any sort of copyright strikes or anything like that. So basically, you put your video up unlisted. If it gets a strike or something like that, they're going to go through their whitelist and fix it very quickly so you don't have to worry about it. Now you can see they have all kinds of different genres and that sort of stuff. So let's go up here to their playlists and you can see what they have. So hip-hop, synthwave, lo-fi, Latin rock, chiptune, 
lots of different stuff and in my experience I used to use a lot of this on my live stream for some of my alerts and that sort of stuff it is very very high quality music and the best part is you can get to it from Spotify Apple Music Amazon anything like that so if you're using tuna you can just go right into their Spotify profile and you know select a playlist that you want and then you can just easily put it into your live stream pretty much no worries it'll just rotate and do its thing so they have a pretty good selection of music and from my experience it's pretty decent quality music i like it a lot and this one is stream tunes the next one i want to show you is pixel bay and pixel bay is a little bit more like a traditional music service that you would pay for in that it has all kinds of ways to search through the music to find what you want you can play it and download it it certainly is very very easy to search through the different types of music that you may want and things like that so background happy music relaxing christmas music that sort of stuff you can go ahead and search pixel bay right here to find the specific mood or type of music that you want to hear you can play it right here listen to it and download it and all that good stuff and if you click this arrow over here it gives you the idea of the tags or categories that that particular clip is from. So even just going through here, you can get an idea of the types of tags that you can search for. If you find a specific track that you really like, you can go down here into the tags and then just do a search for those specific tags. You can actually heart it or whatever, bookmark it, that sort of thing. And then you can download it. So you can see here it's safe to use without asking permission or giving credit to the artist even for certain commercial purposes so just make sure you click on here you learn and understand more about the license and how it works pretty much anything that you download from here should be free to use in whatever way you want and then you've also got this pixel bay radio which you can discover the perfect soundtrack blah 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 but you can go and it's totally royalty free so you can start listening to that, put together a playlist on that if you like as well. What I like about Pixel Bay is the ability to search for very specific moods or types of music that you may want to use to download it and be relatively confident that you're not going to get any strikes by using it based on the licensing information that you're going to get from right here. So Pixel Bay is a great option if you're looking for something specific because it gives you that search ability. Now because the music here is created by pretty much just community and that sort of stuff, you never really know what you're going to get. It could be great, it could be bad. So because this is just a service that aggregates all kinds of user music, you really don't know what you're going to get and it may take you a little longer to search through here to find something that you think is really good. Or that you want to use now this one here is creator mix and i really like this one this is the one that i use to do all the music on my car channel and that sort of stuff um, up at the top you've got home which is where we are now you can go to mood it gives you all of the different types of moods here or you can click see all to see all the moods same thing with genre and you can use see all to see all of the genres and then you've got artists and it shows you the you know it's the same thing and then you've got creator mixes so you can look at d nimmin or nick nimmin's mixes or you can see more for other creators and so you've got your new releases up here at the top and most popular releases down here and of course these are the creators for the site i do love nick and d nimmin so it's very very cool down here you've got popular genres and and clicking any one of these is going to take you in here and you know so you can click there and see these or you can go on to Spotify or Amazon or Apple Music to go in and listen to them and the beautiful thing about Creator Mix is the actual quality of the music and the different styles that they have I mean for me the quality of Creator Mix music is by far the best that I've found on the internet it is absolutely fantastic if you want to know how this can be used, well, you can see they've got YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and Twitter and Twitch right up here. And you can go right into the FAQ and it will give you all the information that you need in order to avoid 
copyright claims. So it's pretty simple to follow. Right here, it tells you exactly how to give proper credit to the author and exactly what you need to do. I use a different mix of creator mix stuff, so I basically just copy this and put it in my description. I've never had any kind of problems with using any of the creator mix music. I absolutely love it. I think it's super high quality, and I definitely recommend checking this one out. Not only because the music is high quality, because these two dudes, they're, they're awesome guys. And they really do support the creator economy as it exists. There isn't any need to do any logins or signups for any of the ones that I showed you today. Really, you can download them all. Now there is one more that I want to talk about just for a second. And it is the actual paid music service option. And there's one I want to show you. So let's jump into that really quick. So you can kind of see the difference between all the free ones and what you might get with a paid service. Now the example I want to show you is Artlist. And I do think it is one of the best. The beauty of Artlist is that you can add any of your social media sites, at least one of them, directly to their list. And then you'll never be striked on any of those sites. So that includes... YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, any of those sites that you have your social media in, you're never going to get strikes on them. You don't have to worry. It's one account that will cover all of those. Now, if you wanted to do multiples of the same, like two YouTube channels or three YouTube channels, then you enter into something that's a little more costly. But if you wanted to just do one of each and be able to repurpose your content across multiple platforms, Artlist is a great place for that. Uh, over here, you've got your browse, so you could select your mood, your video themes, your genre. Now, you can pretty much search for just about anything. You can search by specific duration and, you know, vocals or instruments sorted by staff picks. Pretty much anything that you could possibly think of, you can search through the Artlist music by which means that it takes a lot less time to actually find the music that you're looking for. In my experience, the music here on Artlist is extremely high quality. I absolutely love it. And the other nice thing about having a service like this is you literally pay every month so that you don't ever have to worry about any sort of copyright strikes or hassles or anything like that you're covered. Now, I don't really worry about it with any of the free services either. However, I know some people have different sensibilities about that, so I think it's important to at least mention, you are paying for the right to use this music. You will never be hassled about the copyright situation on any of it, and you certainly will never end up having to give up ad revenue or anything like that due to the music that you use if you're paying for Artlist. The other nice thing is it has sound effects up here, which gives you the ability to populate a soundboard. And that's really awesome. So you've got different browse categories over here, but of course you can search through this as well to find pretty much any sound that you might want and add it to your soundboard. So that is kind of what you have with a music service like this. A lot of these will even have buttons where you can select similar songs you can add it to your collection or share it out so other people can find it. When you go to download some of these, you can download them with MP3 or WAV. So there are just a lot of different options. Personally, one of my favorites when I'm putting together a video or something like that and I just want to find music that's going to fit in the spot, the ability to search by the actual length of the song I think is a game changer for people who create any sort of video content. I can search by genre and length of song, which will give me five or six pieces of music in the exact genre or mood that I'm looking for with the exact length that I'm looking for as well. And that makes it so much easier to put together music. Now you're gonna notice that during all of this, I never played any of the music. And the reason why is because everyone is gonna have a different sensibility as to what good music and bad music is. And I totally understand that. So I don't want to color anyone's opinion of any of these services because I'm not a fan of the music that they put on there when it could absolutely be something that other people really love. When I talk about what I think of the music that's on there, it's from my opinion only and certainly 
a lot of people would disagree with my musical tastes. So really, I just wanted to show you guys the different options that are available to you to allow you to go and listen to the music because it costs nothing anyways and decide for yourself which one is right for your content creation, your live stream, or your videos because there are a lot of different options and each one of them has its pros and cons. Now for my own personal music tastes, I like Creator Mix just because it has metal, a lot more of it, and it's a lot better than anything I found on any other site. But pretty much all of these are gonna have your usual hip hop and all that sort of stuff. And my tastes generally go towards darker music, more like trap and that sort of stuff. But you're gonna find that on just about any one of these services. So for me, it boils down to the type of music you want and the level of annoyance that you're willing to deal with. These free services are pretty easy to use and I have not heard any issues about any of them for a pretty long time. So as long as you follow the rules and put the proper stuff in your description, you should be fine. On the other hand, if you just don't wanna worry about it, a paid service takes all of that out of the equation altogether and gives you a level of protection that's guaranteed by a couple of bucks a month. I personally use both types regularly based on what sort of music I'm looking for. If you want to see how you can add music to your live stream, there's an awesome plugin and I highlight it in this video right here. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.